Hi everyone. Hi, this is Kevin from investbankoutproperty.com. So uh, in this next video, I'm going to be doing a review on a project by Sensiri and that project would be Oka House. So stay tuned. Okay, hey everyone, once again, hi once again. Uh, so let's get started. Um, Today we're going to be talking about uh, Oka House. So uh, a bit of background, this project was uh, launched sometime in November last year, 2017. And uh, right now, I think we are about 70% sold. Um, in fact, the uh, two bedrooms of the uh, entire development for the Foreign Kota, uh, Foreign Kota are already fully sold. Uh, so for, for such a massive massive uh, scale project uh, to be able to achieve such sales figures I think uh, the results are pretty good um, a lot of people have bought uh, for a holiday house as, as well as uh, some of them actually buy for investment uh, which I will share with you later why this is a project that you can consider All right so um, uh, maybe just let me show you where exactly is uh, the location of Oka House. So if you are looking at uh, this map here, all right, uh, I've already dropped the pin. This is where Oka House is. To give you an a idea, the nearest BTS is over here, Tonglaw BTS. All right, and to get from Tonglaw to where Oka House is, you can actually travel via Soy 36. Right from here, uh, on the side that's going towards town, which is this direction to the left, it's actually a two way, two uh, uh, two way lane. So from here, you can actually come all the way down to this road. Okay, this main, this is a main road that runs parallel to Sukhumbit Road, and we call it Rama Four Road. I uh, have also shared in my previous articles that um. Because for the past like several number of years, uh, we have all been very familiar with uh, Suku Big Road because that's where the main uh, green BTS line runs. Uh, projects over there along that line are still very, very popular because of the convenience. Uh, but also because of that, land prices have uh, gradually increased over the years. So in order for developer to uh, secure a piece of land and to launch something over there, especially something that is next to the PTS, uh, you will be paying higher and higher prices. So, for example, a project that is next to Tong Law, right next to Tong Law BTS, uh, is already commanding uh, uh, per square foot, uh, per square meter price in excess of three hundred thousand Thai baht per square meter. So, uh, this affordability becomes an issue. So, developers are also starting to uh, buy up land along uh, the next area, this is, which is this Rama 4. There are a lot of developments that are happening along this Rama 4 road, which I'll share with you later. Right, uh, and this, is, this place is not as uh, uh, off as what we think it is. From Rama 4, it's actually very, very convenient, uh, easy for someone to get to the CBD as well. Right? So uh, Oka House will be accessible from the main road of Rama 4. All right, uh, but uh, let me show you the satellite view. <clears throat> All right, okay, so uh, if you see this uh, shape, right, it's not exactly a full rectangular, but, but like kind of like a, a, a small rectangle here and then one squarish length here. This is where the exact plot uh, will be. Okay, in fact, right now, uh, construction has begun. So if you have the chance to go there, you see that works are being, uh, 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 works are happening over there. And this is also where the uh, sales gallery is uh, for Oka House. Right. Um, so the, the, the actual project will be set back away from the main road because this is, this is like a major road. So you can get a bit busy during peak hours. So it has a long driveway in Okay, and then you have your development inside. So I would say that um, should not affect uh, 
uh, your uh, in terms of the noise level, I don't think you it will be that bad. Right? All right. Uh, if uh, if you want to be super sure, then uh, you can choose units that are facing towards the north, which is away from the main road. So from here, okay, this is where Oka House is. There is a uh, private hospital here, uh, Tetherin Hospital, uh, which is just like almost diagonally across the road. And uh, this direction would be a direction towards uh, the CBD. Okay, and um, from where Oka House is, uh, within walking distance immediately, you actually have like a series of uh, number of uh, uh, officers that are nearby. So these are uh, potential catchment area for your tenants as well, right? So you have your famous uh, Melanon Tower, uh, which is a TV, uh, one of the tower for TV station. So you may see um, sometimes, I don't know, maybe you might bump into some celebrities or something. So uh, there's an uh, SO of Thailand Gold Limited is over here. Then there's a Green Tower um, uh, passed by there before. Downstairs, there's also several banks. Uh, and then for in terms of uh, amenities, besides the fact that you can actually head up to Tong Law, uh, the nearest will be this where I'm circling. This is called the Swamp Plum Market. It is not a market. This is more like a community mall. Uh, in fact, there's a food court, there's restaurants, there's a Starbucks, and then there's also a, a, a supermarket. All right, so, so these are all within walking distance. Uh, in fact, I have a video now, my walk from Oka House to this place. Uh, let me show it to you later. Right. And uh, also, just slightly further down, you have your Tesco Lotus um, as well. So, um, in fact, once you head, head down this stretch, uh, you will see a lot of uh, uh, shops and then you also have your officers so and so forth right? and from here as I mentioned to head to the CBD it is actually one straight road down uh, so say if I were to come from here and I want to go to Silong complex okay uh, it's about 5.4 kilometer uh, as I'm speaking now how we actually and uh, over in Bangkok, that's about 5 p.m. So this is this is kind of like the peak hour. Uh, so that's why the uh, travel time might take a bit longer than usual, right? So so from here, this is where it is. All right. Alternatively, uh, from somebody who is working somewhere in the Lumpini area, Silong area, you can also head straight back to uh, where Oka House is rather easily. Okay, so uh, if you are wondering if there's any BTS nearby, uh, as mentioned, the nearest will be Tong Law BTS. Uh, if not, then alternatively, you can also head to Akamai BTS. Uh, unfortunately, there's no uh, BTS that is within walking distance. If there is, then obviously uh, the, the price will be different again also. Uh, there, on the good side, there's, there's a shuttle service that will be provided by the, uh, by the concierge, by the juristic. Uh, to service the residents of Oka House. So I am assuming that it should shuttle between Tong Law and Akamai Station or maybe just between Oka House and Tong Law. I, uh, like for example, I've, I have been to Kawa House before, uh, T77, so I actually from there, I, I take the shuttle, shuttle bus service straight out to Honor PTS, uh, which is less than five minutes. Uh, so it's actually pretty convenient. If not, then you can always uh, take a grab car, take a taxi. Uh, transportation in Thailand is not that expensive as well. Yes. Okay, so uh, moving on, let's uh, go into the uh, details of the development. Okay. So, Oka House. Uh, in fact, house uh, all along the previous house series like the Mori House, Hasu House, and then just before Oka House, we had your uh, the Taka House. These are all low rise, and uh, Oka House is the first of the house series that they are doing a high rise. Um, the house series it is a resort style concept that San Siri is trying to create uh, for the residents. So uh, you will see that the the Things being used to design the whole development uh, allows it's like very relaxing and so and so forth. 
So in this case, for Mocha House, they are drawing um, inspiration from the mountains. Right? Uh, so these are some pictures to show the design concept. Uh, this is the artist's impression of how the building will look like after you head in from the driveway. Right, as I mentioned, there's, uh, from the main uh, Rama Hall Road, you, know, you come in through a long driveway, and then that's where the whole entire tower block will be. For this project, uh, it is a mixture of one and two bedroom. Uh, there's only two units of three bedroom, as you can see here. Right, so uh, uh, which which are already already fully sold. So in uh, for the two bedrooms, you actually have like a uh, two bed one bath, or you can have your more traditional two bed two bathroom. Majority of the units would be one bedroom, one bathroom. Uh, two sizes generally. The slightly larger one, thirty three, and then you have your twenty six square meters, uh, more like a studio. Uh, but we will still call it a uh, one bedroom. Right? Uh, for the 40 stories of residential floors and uh, seven stories of parking. So all in all, 47 stories high. So you can imagine the view you will get when you are uh, when you have a unit on the high floor. It will be uh, spectacular. In fact, if you choose the units that are facing the south, uh, you will actually get to see the Chow Phraya River. Uh, that's also a very beautiful view. Okay, um, let me just share with you. Uh, this is the actual site, okay, as we highlighted out. Uh, so, this is the driveway in and here. Uh, in fact, this uh, piece of land, uh, from my understanding, also belongs to Sensim. So, uh, probably they would have another uh, project that will come up here sometime in the future. But not to worry because it is only. Uh, up to here, so this where you are, you will still get unblocked views. Okay, and uh, maybe just let me show you a bit more pictures. Uh, let's let's talk about the facilities. All right. Um. Uh, I think one of the draw of Oka House or even any house series is the fact that they have awesome facilities. So uh, that that will actually mean that the uh, even the the local ties when they want to choose a development to stay, they will know that the house series is something that has a very very good quality finishing and then they have very very good facility. Um, so that would that would become a, a major plus point when someone wants to buy for their own stay or even when you want to rent it out to your tenant, they will compare. Hey, um, this building next door uh, has like just normal stuff. Just a swimming pool or just a small gym, whereas uh, stay in Oka House, that means I have like so much more uh, facilities that I can enjoy, right? So uh, the whole idea, they built so much facilities, as I say, it's kind of like a resort idea. So you can uh, actually just stay inside and do nothing for the entire day or weekend uh, and just choose to relax, uh, relax and enjoy your, your leisure time. Right, uh, this picture that you're looking at right now, uh, is the education playground, right? Uh, education playground uh, is something that they did together with uh, semi Vetch Children's Hospital uh, to design this playground. So supposedly uh, meant to help children with their uh, uh, growth. Okay, <laughs> that, that's something that I do not know too well, but, but this is being told to us. Right. Um, this is a bit different from the new uh, XT series that they're coming out with. So you can see that by having something like this, uh, it also shows that they are expecting that uh, not only singles will stay here, maybe small families might want to stay in Oka House as well. Right. Uh, which is why a lot of the small families bought the two bedrooms, right? a couple with a kid or uh, with a young children or someone who intend to buy as a holiday home. Okay, so you have all these uh, features inside this uh, <coughs> excuse me education background uh, playground okay uh, next up there's also a co-working space uh, which is something that is very very common 
uh, in a lot of projects nowadays. Okay, this is how the lobby area looks like. High ceiling, uh, bubble finishes, very grand. I, I was personally very impressed when we uh, when I visited the show flat. Uh, in fact, I've been there a few times with many, many different groups of uh, buyers. And anyone who actually stepped in, I would say that they are impressed by the uh, by the grandeur that, that they are giving to uh, prospective owners. Um, I have had clients who told me from Singapore who told me that hey, uh, something like this would be similar to the lobby of those in uh, prime orchard area. So that orchard area, that's where uh, we have our very high-end uh, condos in Singapore. So uh, they say somewhat similar in terms of the outlook and features. I, I, and I believe this is what they're trying to achieve. The wow factor. Okay, uh, facilities will be on the 8th floor. So remember we mentioned the car park will be until the 7th and then 8th and then uh, upwards will be the uh, residential unit. All the way to the top, uh, at the top level, there's another sky theater. So you have your pool, uh, well equipped pool, 40 meters pool, and then you have your jacuzzi area, play pool, uh, so and so forth. There's a whole list of uh, facilities. Right, okay. And uh, from here, I think you'll also be able to overlook. Because nearby are all low light uh, building. The leisure pool or your spa pool. Okay, so you can uh, do your aqua gym inside, there's a water curtain, sitting spa, sunbathing pool. Right. <clears throat> Something that uh, I think the uh, Caucasians will like. Uh, and if you are there for holiday, then, then you don't have to go to a spa, right? everything is there, inside. Okay, uh, so much details of the facilities, uh, that's because really, that is really one of the uh, uh, selling points. So they are also taking pain to explain to uh, individuals how much uh, effort they are putting in to design this entire development. a look at the fitness all right uh, they're taking some uh, design inspiration from the waterfall okay some is how the uh, color scheme of the fitness room the changing room so the entire outlook of the uh, gym and the changing room I'm sure when it's uh, finished, it will be very impressive. There's also um, some sort of a garden open area on the 22nd floor. Right. And, uh, this is a sky lounge, which is on the uh, the top sky lounge, there's a co working space, co kitchen. Okay, let me just show you some uh, photos that they, pictures that they have. How the sky lounge will look like. Very impressive. You can see the entire Bangkok skyline. Uh, from where you are, uh, you are still pretty much within the town area. So uh, you will be able to, if you look to the north, you will be able to see the main Sukhumi area. If you look to the west, uh, you'll be able to see the central business district. So at night, it will be glittering, uh, bright, and inviting. Co-working space as well as a co-kitchen with a vertical garden, vertical farm. Uh, you have your retreat room. Okay, I, uh, so you, this is, this is the thing, maybe we'll see massage chair. All right, and all the way at the top of the 47th floor, 47 and 48, 47 floor, uh, that's where all the facilities are. Okay, so you can see here, you can host your guests, uh, host your friend, have an after party over here. Right, uh, 
yes, this is the view. So, so over here, you can actually see the uh, river bend. All right, this is the view towards the south. Very, very nice. You'll be able to see a sunset as well. Uh, and this is one of the my favorite <laughs> favorite feature. Right, they, they actually have a sky, uh, uh, open air sky theater, so you can do your movies under the stars. Um, maybe you can actually book it entirely for a private function. Uh, not sure. You know, have to wait for it to complete, then we will know. Okay, and uh, for the units also comes in uh, uh, two different uh, color schemes. So that's the espresso team and then then you have your latte scheme, which is of a lighter color. Okay, let's talk a bit about the uh, uh, floor plan now. Okay, the unique layout. Uh, I would assume majority of you, if you are investing, uh, okay, not majority, actually 100%, because uh, the two bedrooms are all fully sold. Uh, as I'm as doing this video, unless you are open to buying from uh, someone who had bought earlier, so that means you buy a resale. If not, then uh, we have to look at one bedroom. Okay, so this is the uh, smaller unit, the one bedroom bath. Generally, a lot of them are on the west facing. Uh, do not be worried that uh, if you get a west facing unit, uh, you will have problem because uh, it is really much of a non-issue over, over, over in Thailand. Right, uh, perhaps if your next buyer is a Chinese, then uh, maybe they might be uh, more worried about the, the warmth of the afternoon sun. But if not, I can tell you from the sales uh, that we have done so far, the West, people don't care, people just still buy. You know, anyway, if you want the smaller unit, that those are on the West basic. Right? So, so this is how it looks like. Uh, once you walk right in, open area, kitchen, uh, this is this is again quite a common configuration to walk in through the kitchen All right and then you have your dining living uh it's still a proper bedroom you see uh with a with a wall and then you have your have your swing door uh in the bathroom and then you have your little uh balcony still that you can actually step up and enjoy the the view if you're on a super high floor alternatively uh you can actually look at uh the larger one bedrooms, the 33 to 34 square meters. So generally it's uh, longer. So more space in your living hall, larger kitchen, and you also have larger bedroom. Right? Everything just, just increased proportionally. Uh, most of the units would uh, face the... This is south, and this is north, and some of it on the east side. Okay, and... Uh, Notice the bottom, right, this uh, type BW, okay, these are very limited in units and this is a special feature of the uh, Oka house. Notice how this uh, small little balcony is jutting out, okay, this is this is what we mean by uh, the bay window unit for the Oka house, right, but this is a totally usable area, all right. Uh, uh, sometimes in Singapore context, when we say bay window, that means like uh, just a slab of concrete that is raised, and then you have your window. Uh, you can't really like use except for maybe put some decorative stuff on it. But this is not uh, this entire same level as your floor, and it's jutting out with glass panels on all three sides. So you actually have a uh, two hundred seventy degree view of your surrounding. Let me show you. So this is uh, what I mean by that. So so you can actually put your study table here, and then you have your glass. This portion that's jutting out, you see, right? And it's all glass, so your view is clear. It, it's like a balcony that's enclosed. Some people like that. Uh, I do have clients who specifically uh, wanted these units, but uh, again. Uh, every floor, I think there's only one or two. Uh, and I'm not sure if there's still any left, so we'll have to check. Okay, okay so uh, I shall skip most of it. All right, uh, unique specification. Uh, Oka House would come fully furnished for uh, all foreign quota purchases. So that means 
uh, literally you can just bring your luggage in or the moment is ready and you hand over then you can um, you can just pass the key on to uh, plus property or any agency of your choice uh, and you can start looking for tenants already uh, so it's totally hassle free okay um, as we mentioned there's two kind of vehicles that you can choose either the espresso or the latte scheme uh, some pictures of what they provide uh, in terms of the fridge okay actually the uh, uh, show unit actually put a smack fridge over there uh, so i think most likely maybe you should be getting one as well right, so you can either choose dark color scheme or the light color scheme this is what i'm trying to show you right large grand main door a fully equipped kitchen or the cooker hood cooker hobs it's all done all the features and then uh, this is the kind of brand that they're using not any uh, normal brands but they use quality brands like Koto some of the uh, units will have bathtub some will not so uh, again it's entirely personal choice okay, okay uh, and then we have okay this is the dark strip here every door will have this is this is a uh, feature that they built in to allow uh, airflow all right so because you know sometimes in the middle of the year uh, it can get pretty warm in Bangkok so nowadays uh, uh, when it comes to the newer condos and people are actually think of innovative way to design the development such that uh, number one is energy saving and number two they try to increase uh, uh, through technology and, and design feature try to increase the airflow inside the uh, unit All right so so this small slit you can actually open but yet nobody can see inside uh, so you still maintain your privacy but because um, both both sides you have like open open windows so the air can actually flow through okay and uh, next up furniture package as i mentioned this project will be fully furnished so these are some pictures of what will be given right, so it will be uh, it will come with your sofa set your bed uh, your coffee table right, or if you choose darker skin same thing just a different color scheme so it can be fully furnished right just like what it is um, you just need to maybe do a bit of uh, minor decor to spice up the whole uh, apartment and then you will be ready for rental uh, you will also uh, be using uh, smart home technologies. Okay, this is the uh, interior perspective of a latte color finishes. So you can choose. Right. Uh, now, the cell gallery is actually on site from where it is. Uh, if you are interested to visit the show flat, let us know. Uh, we can help you arrange and make an appointment. We'll show you around over there. Right, more pictures of uh, the surroundings. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, retreat rebound is the tagline for Oka House. Uh, let us now take a bit more in-depth look into the location of Oka House. Okay, so this is where uh, Oka House is, along the intersection of uh, Soy 36, Sukumi and Ramakor Road. Uh, the nearest train station would be, uh, you can actually come to here, uh, Queen City Great National Convention Centre. Right, uh, which is just down this road, or either way, you can actually go along the green line, which is the nearest main Tonglo. Okay, and from Tonglo, uh, it's just two stations away to Asso, which is a major interchange. Right, so uh, five minutes to BTS Tonglo by drive, and eight minutes to uh, MRT uh, Queen Street National Convention Center. It means to ASO interchange station 
or alternative PA, you may be driving or you may need to access other parts of uh, Bangkok away from the central area, that would be your nearest uh, way to get to the expressway. All right, so in fact, there's two expressway. So this expressway will head up north or here you actually go to the right hand side which is toward uh, the east side or down south. So in some cases, uh, you could be renting to a local Thai who is staying here because he or she has to work here Monday to Friday and then on the weekend they would uh, need to drive to somewhere else or drive back home. So in fact, sometimes for the locals it is a good thing to be staying near expressway. Like, uh, sometimes you may think, hey, stay near expressway uh, very noisy. Right? But for the drivers, uh, especially for them, with the traffic condition in Bangkok, it is actually a good thing to be staying near the entrance and exit of the expressway. So that uh, the moment they drive out of the development, they can hit the highway and get to wherever they need. Okay, let's talk about amenities. Uh, in terms of amenities, I think, really think, <laughs> think where you are. Oka houses, there's really no lack of amenities, right? So, so basically, just highlight at Akamai, you have your gateway at Akamai, uh, along Tong Law Road, you have your rain tree as another community mall. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the nearest is Songfla Market, there's a Tesco Lotus, further down, there's a Big C, and then uh, along Soy 26, there, there's also a K Village, uh, where you have like a lot of uh, Korean stuff, and then for your shopping, then you can actually go to uh, from from this way. Uh, M for here is okay, nearby also uh, Tetheri Hospital and then there's a few other uh, international hospital uh, this is the Tabitabach uh, Hospital so that's the one who also designed the playground for education uh, in case your tenant could be someone with a young child right, uh, again there's no lack of schools around in fact, I know of quite a few international schools around Tong Long and Akamai area. So that is really not an uh, issue right, taken care of. And now let's talk a bit about the future development of uh, Oka House. Right? Um, uh, when you invest in something, you would want to know what the potential of this uh, project. Right? First thing first, uh, be at this location where it is uh, near to Tong Law, I would still essentially consider this very near to Tong Law. Uh, you will already have your fair share of uh, uh, tenants, right? So, so that means this is, should be a good place to to rent out uh, investment property. Uh, but how about capital appreciation? That will also depends on what is going to happen down the road nearby. Is there grow and all these things? So, uh, the next few slides will be uh, addressing these issues. Okay, right, so uh, this slide, the whole idea is to tell you these are the all the existing uh, offices, right, and then uh, these are the number of units of uh, offices that this individual building have, and the latest one being the FYI center. Right? So, so that means you are actually in an area that is also essentially a uh, uh, area where there's a lot of uh, uh, grade A officers, right? So, so these people who work here, they will need somewhere to stay. So ideally, they would also want to be staying nearby. So Oka House will definitely be one of the uh, choices that they could choose from uh, two to three years from now. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's 26,200 officers. Okay, and look at the red color one. Red color one is the oncoming supply of offices. Uh, there's this one Bangkok is a super mega integrated development. Uh, and also there's another one by TCC. Right, combined together, you look, there's almost close to 70,000 new offices being uh, created in this area. So this will hopefully in the near future become a commercial hub. Uh, and then uh, uh, it's always a cycle, you know, as, as more and more businesses come together and start moving here, then you again draw more population and then this whole place will become more and more vibrant. Um, of course, the prime area will always be here because it's where the near the Lopini Park is. Uh, the idea is the development will spill over down the Ramapo Road towards the 
uh, from root direction. So where Oka House is, uh, if you go to this side, there's not much new development that are coming up. Even if there is, uh, the prices are higher, uh, the rental will be higher also. So, so you are actually servicing these people who are working around here, who needs a place to stay. Yeah, this uh this one Bangkok is a is something that you have to take note of. Uh, it is a mega development. Uh, it will be something that will transform the entire Rama Four Road. Five great offices. Uh, five luxury hotel, three residential re uh, residential towers. Super should be super ultra luxury. Uh, prices would likely be twice or even three times of what Oka House is calling for, and then. Uh, again, there's an indicator in retail more below. Okay, and then also there's another developer, TTC. Uh, they're doing another mega project that is, that is doing that is nearby. Okay, so by 2021, uh, they're expecting like a larger... Okay, I won't commit to this number. Uh, there's a research that's done uh, by the Thais, but I would say that Judging from this development, uh, it will surely draw in the uh, uh, demographic. And uh, yeah, this is something also you guys should take note of. Uh, this upcoming monorail gray line, okay, that runs through from the north down and cuts through, okay, and and uh, this gray line will actually intersect at uh, Tonglo Station. So that means Tonglo will become a uh, interchange right you can if you if you go to uh, Bangkok often or even if you belong to anywhere in the world you will know that uh, being besides the MRT station is one thing but being near to an interchange uh, that is another that's definitely much much better than, than just any other normal MRT so uh, by by having this way line running through and where Oka House is actually nearby okay so uh, once this line start running you will actually have to bring more uh, Put traffic along this area, uh, businesses again will spring up, and then there will be more people who wanted to stay around this area as well. Right, okay, so in summary, let's talk about the key selling points of this property. Uh, so you have your pools, all right, uh, again, you see the emphasis on the facilities that they have versus probably the other projects. Right, so you have the leisure pool, then you have your cold kitchen, the first farm shop in Thailand. Look, you at the end of the day, you may or may not use all these facilities, but the fact that uh, by having all these, uh, uh, it gives it a wow factor, right? So the, the I, I think the key takeaway is the fact that all these adds up together to give a wow factor and makes people driving along Rama Four Road, everybody will be like looking, hey look, that is Oka House, that is Oka House. Once, once enough people, there's so many people knowing that this project, people will start to wonder, hey, this, is this a good place to stay? People want to check it out, right? So, uh, you have your co-working space, retreat room, right? all this, uh, just now I mentioned, observation deck, sky room, uh, and the bay window design, ventilation system, and also uh, uh, there's a um, Okaos actually uses the uh, smart technology, so you have your application that you can actually control a lot of stuff uh, like your lights, your aircon, or even giving access to uh, a guest who wants to visit your house. Right? It can all be done via the uh, the uh, the app that you can download when when you take over your unit. Okay. Right? Okay. Uh, let me just jump straight on. Okay, and also they will give you this uh, Alexa by Amazon. Uh, so again, it adds more to the smart home, uh, uh, fully equipped the entire house with smart home technology. Right. Let's talk about price. Okay. Uh, this is a, a pictorial representation. Okay. This is where Rama Hall Road is, and uh, this is the Sukhumvit Road and Kachapuri Road. I, uh, if you ask me, of course, uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the most prime properties are still located around uh, prime Sukhumvit, uh, which is like probably like Aso to Prompong to now even Tonglo Station, which is around here, the red one. 
Okay, so these are the uh, we call it the segment A. Uh, prices can range between 240 to 450k. Yes, really, uh, the, the range is very diverse because of the uh, different grade of the development. Okay, and by buying where um, this area is, all right, uh, we, we categorize them as a segment B plus, uh, which if you follow the logical line of thought, the idea is as the city expands eastwards, um, you will start expecting spillover. So when people find that, you know, prices here are maybe a bit too high for what they are willing to pay, then you'll start looking at places like around here or around here. Right? And, and from there, uh, if you have anchored in yourself early, then you'll be able to benefit from uh, the rise in prices over time. In fact, uh, over at Soy 38, this, this particular area, uh, now a lot of developers are building super high-end uh, uh, projects over there. All right? We're selling at about 250 to 300,000 Thai baht per square meter. Right, Ananda have some uh, 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 two projects there. Uh, and they actually, instead of using their normal ideal movie uh, 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 series, they actually use their Ashton series over there. Right, so you can see that this area okay, is slowly transforming also. And sometimes if, now if you have a chance to drive through Soil 36, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, construction and condos going on. But the benefit of Oka House is the fact that it is accessible from the main road. So not only is it a high rise, uh, in terms of driving in cars, it, it's a lot easier to come over here than to get stuck somewhere inside. Okay. Well, so if we also take a look at the rental and resale price of the area, uh, you'll be good to know that it's generally on the uptrend right, over the past like five, six years. Uh, since 2012, uh, rental price has slowly gone up, so has the resale price. Uh, but more importantly, uh, as we always say, by buying at a uh, good location, all right, not only uh, forget about the promise of uh, how much will it increase like three to five years from now, because really nobody can know. But at least uh, by by getting a good location, you can know that uh, in that area, you should see healthy demand for rental. And should there come a day where you need to um, sell it off the property, you will be you'll find it find easier for you to actually find uh, find a taker, right? So I, I think that, that is actually more important than uh, trying to uh, trying to gaze through a crystal ball and see how high it can go, all right? Uh, all things being equal, uh, as land prices go up, all right, you should see some gain a uh, few years down the road, right? As uh, we will also expect prices of the nearby development in the future to be priced higher as well right? and all this will actually help you uh, in time to come and uh, right now currently other than there's another project called uh, ideal movie rama 4 uh, that was launched shortly after oka house uh, along the whole uh, rama 4 road there's still not a lot of uh, 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 good development that are coming into the supply line right which uh, i believe foresee that it will happen eventually because uh, for all the reasons mentioned earlier uh, as developers could not find uh, land to develop in Sukhumvit they have to go either further out or they have to explore uh, plots that are available along the uh, Rama 4 right? so um, if you take a unit that is on the south facing uh, you will actually have a view of the river Right, which is uh, which is this okay? So this is how it looks like in the daytime. Right now, this is uh, uh, the port, all right? Uh, which right now the government are actually studying um, how they can actually redevelop this area. So uh, nothing has been confirmed so far, but they are certainly looking to uh, get rid of this uh, port. Uh, in, in some ways and then try to see how they can actually redevelop this land uh, likely would be a mixed use development and when really that happens uh, being such a massive land such a massive project I think uh, residents around owners around will actually and also experience the 
because of this spillover effect. Right, uh, this is how it looks like in the evening. And uh, if you take the units that are facing north, uh, this is a typical Bangkok skyline, beautiful Bangkok skyline that you can come to expect. Uh, be it on the west or to the north, you will really see like brightly lit uh, buildings uh, dot dotting the uh, entire skyline. Okay, uh, if you have the chance to uh, visit our website, uh, investbankoptproperty.com, we actually have a uh, blog post that we actually filmed down the uh, videos that we took when we visited Oka House. So uh, I'll just skip some of them. Uh, let me show you a video of the one bedroom bay window show flat. So this is the one bedroom bay window show flat, uh, 34.75 square meters. Just thought I'd blow this up easier for, for you guys to see. Right, so uh, yeah, this is the exact unit that you will see when you visit the show gallery. Uh, of course, some of the IDs, the items on the <laughs> on the on the tables and all these are not provided, but the so far the bay will be exactly what you see. So uh, look, this is where the bay window is. A uh, small area that juts out. So you can actually put your nice little armchair over there, or you can actually, uh, like the picture suggests, you can actually put your uh, study table over there. Right, so this towards the uh, city direction. That's the actual site that uh, construction work was taken, uh, started. This video was taken earlier this year. So it's about already about five months to six months ago that I took this uh, video. Right, so it will be fully furnished as mentioned. <coughs> so you have your yard, little yard or balcony, and then the washing machine. So there, this 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 area is where the compressor is uh, heated. So that's why we always say uh, you are not paying for air con latch. Right, nice open kitchen and then the bedroom. Uh, we have had clients who bought and they were asking whether they are they able to fit in a king size bed and the answer is yes you can actually put in a king size bed uh, actually enough space for it okay, so. okay, what you see is what you get uh, toilet okay let me skip to the next video okay instead of the bay window okay this is the second unit with the 34.25 to 34.75 okay this is a unit with a, a normal balcony the actual balcony okay. so I'll just skip some of the video so we go right in it's almost the same stuff and I believe that this is the latte uh, color scheme finish small dining area Right, so this is where the the balcony is. So you, you can actually choose uh, whether you want a unit like this or the one before. Okay, let me just fast forward the video. Bedroom, very tastefully done. Okay, and this is a unit with a bathtub. So, uh, so just now the other one doesn't have a bathtub, but this one does. Okay, so there's a bathtub. Okay, and also, uh, over there there's three. Um, Show flat. So that's, that's all okay, flat. this is the third. Um, okay, we'll just briefly run through because uh, really there's no more two bedroom for sale. Fifty square meters. Uh, bedrooms on, on either side. 
especially once you go into the hall, nice ice, nice island. Uh, this one for change the washing machine is inside the kitchen. Okay, then uh, this one comes with a balcony. The master bedroom with a bathtub. Well, uh, one of the uh, possible tenants that you can get would likely be the Japanese because it's like in the Tonglo, the Japanese area. So, uh, it is to my understanding that uh, they will actually prefer having units with bathtub. So, so again, if you it's entirely up to you. You can choose whether you can you want to choose the units with the bathtub or without. Uh, this is actually the second common room, uh, but for the purpose of this show fact, they converted it into like the expansion of the living hall uh, with a larger dining area. Right, but uh, this is just ID, uh, the actual unit will be a proper room with a, with a door, which you can actually put a super size in the. So that's the uh, common, common bathroom. Okay. Uh, Okay, this video was taken when we left. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I which is sorry, yeah. Huh? So I actually had to walk. Okay, maybe I show you this. This is a uh, walk from. So that's that's how the show back looks like. Okay, very nice. Uh, All right. Uh, me talking and this is Rama for right uh pardon for the shaking because it's not uh we wasn't really using a professional uh video cap right so once you come out on the right there's actually a Taiwanese shabu shabu interestingly uh, this was around I think afternoon uh closing to lunch time that was here right there's a Taiwanese shabu shabu Okay, so this Rama Hall Road once again. Uh, fast forward. So you can see that this video is about five minutes long. So that's roughly how long I took uh, walking slowly to the location. Okay, so across the road, you start seeing some uh, officers building. So these are all office buildings. Okay, it's a green, they call it the green tower, it's an office building. Right. And this, this direction is uh, coming from the city. Okay. Let me just fast forward some more. Right. Uh, if you are keen to have some street food, right, this street is pretty crowded during uh, this hour, which is lunch time. I think a lot of the local actually will actually come here for uh, lunch. Uh, keep reading and then, uh, right, so I zoom in the green tower. Uh, Kasikon Bank. So that so far, I've been walking for about four minutes. Okay, this is the uh, Esso Tower. Next to it is the Melanon Tower. Alright, and uh, across the road, this is where uh, the Sompler Market is. So it's only about 5 minutes walk. Okay, and how to cross over, you see this uh, over bridge, right? Uh, that's where that's where the uh, you can actually cross over. So uh, this video actually I was standing on top of the bridge, uh, just uh, doing a video showing around, you know, what it is. So you can, you can probably visit uh, this page to see more, right? Right. So you see this the uh, TV tree, TV tree building. Actually, I came from here. Right, this is the green, green tower.
I get the sample marker. Okay. So, um, if you guys are interested in uh, Oka House, do know that uh, Oka House will be completed uh, in uh, 2021. Alright, uh, I believe it's probably towards the third to the fourth uh, quarter. Alright, so that's about three years, three years from now. Alright, and uh, Oka House uh, is a freehold property. And uh, for units available, units available, right, uh, foreign quota. Okay, uh, prices for the one bedroom start. Okay, units available from 32nd floor to 46th floor. So we still do have uh, units, uh, depending on your selection of the uh, facing and, and so on and so forth, uh, between 32 to 46 floor. Right? Uh, generally, the foreign quota that are, uh, usually when they allocate the foreign quota are always on the higher floors. Uh, nothing bad, I would say, because uh, view is important. Uh, when you're on like 33, 34, 35, 36, then that's where you can enjoy the view that I showed you earlier. Right, and uh, we are looking at uh, prices from generally 6.8 billion baht uh, upwards. Okay. So, uh, depending on the facing the size, uh, then the prices will vary. Right, so, uh, so you should be able to still get uh, good units at about the 7 million baht mark. Okay, for the payment payment terms that's how it works uh, there will be a booking fee of Thai baht 100,000 okay, that is for one bedroom uh, we're only talking about one room now so I'm just uh, showing you this and then uh, within, within 14 days will have to pay 25% of the project price uh, of course less the booking fees that you have paid right and then um, upon completion then you will have to come up with the balance 75% right um, this project will come fully furnished as I mentioned earlier and you will also come with one year fully furnished one year uh, free property care by plus property All right so uh, because plus property is a uh, associate company of uh, uh, and at the same time they are one of the largest uh, uh, real estate agency in Bangkok so uh, you they actually do a lot of uh, uh, buy, sell, and also rent. I, and uh, this is something that they're providing for the first year. Uh, they can actually help you to take care of your property, which uh, otherwise usually people actually pay to engage a, a management company to help them uh, take take care of their unit during the the tenancy. Right. So since it's free, uh, do make use of it. And then you, if you want to, you are happy with the service, then one year later you can always continue with them. Okay. And uh, before I wrap up, uh, this is how the typical floor plan will look like. It is um, uh, one entire block which is on L shape. Let me just zoom in. Okay. May not be very clear. Uh, just to give you an idea. Okay, so you can see that north is to my right, to your right, and that is. So units along here or here, we we'll see the uh, Sukhumvit view, the city skyline view, which I showed earlier. And then uh, the units along here are the west facing, but yet at the same time, they look towards the uh, central business district, the CBD. Okay. And if you want the river view, then you will have to choose units around here because these are the units that are facing downwards, uh, direct the port, directly to the, to the port. 
uh, direction. Right. So uh, uh, the lift lobby is here. Okay, and the uh, two bedrooms are all at the corner. The gray, blue color are the two bedrooms. So these light browns are the one bedroom, and, and this particular color are the small studio. So you can see every floor, the twenty six square meter units are actually just uh, about three to four of them on the on the west facing. If not, then uh, you have to see like which direction you prefer, uh, which is the price you like. Also, uh, then you can choose accordingly. So uh, every floor, the configuration might be a bit different. So you have your, your from the second to the third floor, especially if you are looking for units with the play window. Notice like, for example, on the 37th, 38th, I have two units with play windows over here. Whereas on the 39th floor, one here and one here. So a bit of a mix and match. Right. So uh, again, if you are interested and you want to know exactly uh, what are the units that are available and uh, we also give you a little bit of advice on the choice of units, uh, do talk to us. Right? Uh, uh, as usual, my contact details are actually in the description of this video below. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully you like this video being done for you. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, I know this is a bit longer than usual because there's really so much stuff to talk about Oka House. Uh, try to cut short as much as I can already. Alright, uh, if you if you want to read more in depth, alright, I also have a written version of uh, the review of this entire property, this entire project uh, on my website. Alright, so do visit our website and subscribe. Okay, uh, our website once again, www.ifairbankcockproperty.com Right, do subscribe to our mailing list uh, from time to time, every time there's a new launch uh, or we have new uh, analysis articles, new reviews, we'll keep you posted from uh, our mailing list. Right, so uh, if you have any questions also, please feel free to email me at kevin at investbankcockproperty.com. Alright, that's my email. Uh, you can also email to my partner, Daryl at investbankcockproperty.com. Alright, so uh, I guess I'll say goodbye at this point uh, and I'll hope to see you at the next video. Thanks.